for looking at the men's singles draw. Well, uh, of course, it's well known now that uh, Pranoy made his way to the final through a very unfortunate accident to Christian Alinata at 17, 19 down in the first game. But he didn't make it. But Weng Hong Yang, well, he has been dispatching some very big names indeed and in some fine style as well. This is going to be a great men's singles final. First time finalists, both of them. And looking at the men's singles ranking as of 11th of April, Li Shi Feng up there probably from that All England win. Uh, Nishimoto, Shi Chi, Victor Axelsen, and Anders Anderson up to five. And then it's Nkar Long, Li Zijia, Sunayama, Fitisan, and Ng Ziyong. Surprising at 10 based on his performance. But I think as we move through the year, Bobby, you were talking about it's really about the end of the year. Well, yeah, it's the, it's the road to the HSBC World Tour Finals ranking rather than the world ranking. And so Axelsson, although he's flying in the world ranking still uh, and will be for some time, I imagine, um, those getting in, an invite to the World Tour Finals at the end yeah. of the year are based on, on, on this ranking. And so, yeah, it's a certain number of World Tour events you have to put in in, in this 12 months. And, and uh, yeah, those couple of surprising names are uh, people yeah. that I've played a bit more lately, I suppose. Now, HS Pranoy, well... That's his first final of the year, and he's going to be very happy with that, however he got here. But this is the man that everyone's been talking about, and there's even been articles out this week saying that he's the next Lin Dan. I know that's the first thing that anyone says when anyone starts winning uh, and has a Chinese national shirt on, but he's been solid, Wen Hong Yang. Uh, not for me. Not yet. <laughs> I mean, you and I talked about this earlier this morning. Uh, and, 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 you know, let's, let's just uh, be both honest about it. You really have him picked today by, oh, a, yeah. by a long, long I margin. Do. I do. I, I disagree. I, I, not that I don't think he'll win. He can win. But I think a lot of people are underestimating uh, Pranoy, Pranoy at the moment. Yeah. Yes, he had that retirement yesterday from Alinata. He had a massive lead in that match. But, I mean, Pranoy himself this week is having the tournament of his life. That's true. Uh, that is very true. He beat Chao Chen Chen. He beat Li Shi Feng. Uh, and then he beat Nishimoto. I mean, those are no mugs either. That's true. Uh, and and he's got everything about his game. He might not be as quick as his opponent, but he's very, very well-rounded. Wow. Here we go. Game on. First time meeting. Benoit before this made the quarterfinals in Malaysia. And Wang Hong Yang, well, believe it or not, he had a second round, a first round exit from seven events this year <laughs> before coming into this. Yeah, he had a quarterfinal in the All England and then this. But before that, it was first round at pretty much every event. So a sudden understanding, a clicking, a turning around in his mind, but all of a sudden dispatched a lot of people this week with some big names. Pranoy, 30 years old now. I was going to bring that up, by the way, the fact he was 30. I don't know, I don't know what your views are on the uh, retirement age for men's singles players, but that's got to be pushing it. And uh, it's been as high as seven, of course, currently ninth in the world. This is definitely his best showing, and that's, as you were saying, look at that list of, of players to take out. Dropped a game for each one of the first three uh, against Chao Tien Chen, Li Shifeng, and Nishimoto. And then, of course, that retirement... Uh, in a game that was progressing well. That, that's very true. Christian Adinata, though, we never really got to see. He was very far behind in that opening. As for Weng Hong Yang, 23 years old from Fujian in China. Ranked 34 right now, but as I said yesterday, if he keeps playing the way he's playing, that's going to increase a great deal. But I, I was, I was obviously, obviously a bit sceptical to to also get on that who's going to be the next Lin Dan thing. You know, in, in Malaysia, they said the same thing about Li Zijiao, who's going to be the next Li Chong Wei. Yeah, I, mean, I think that comes out a lot. As we look at his tournament results, Momota, Ginting, Unka Long, and Lin Chunyi are solid stuff, especially Ginting, the world number two there in, in 51 minutes. Uh, and um, what I saw was, as I said, very, very precise. But journalists especially, very quick to jump on that. And I said there are a lot of players that would love to be in those shoes, you know, as we look at our umpire. 
by Lang Yen. Joined by our service judge, Myon Kong Huang. Well, I guess whatever, as we look at the coaching staff, whatever's been written about him, the next chapter is, is going to take place right now. I think it's, uh, I mean, it comes down to so many different things. I mean, yes, Weng's playing well and he's had some good results this week, but like you said, he, he's fallen out in early stages at many tournaments recently. It's Seven. Far, far, too, far too early to talk about the next Lindan at this stage for him. I know he's not a junior, he's 23 years old. And I know Pranoy, you said it's 30, and you know, but his career high in the ranking, Pranoy, was only a matter of weeks ago. We're not talking about when he was 20, yeah. 10 years ago, he was up at seven in the world. We're talking about... So his current form is basically peaking now. His, yeah, this is the best he's ever played, Pranoy. And for me, and it might just be my own view, but I've never seen him play this well, this consistently, until this week. Well, that view is good enough for me, Bobby. <laughs> and I'll tell you that now. <laughs> And uh, as I said, I think that I was, I, I'd completely, be honest, completely honest, completely written off Pranoy after what I saw uh, yesterday. But now I'm going to give him well, no, the, the benefit of the doubt. Uh, you know, don't go with me just yet. We'll see I'm how this pans out. I'm not going with you. I'm leaving, the, I'm leaving <laughs> it open. <laughs> it's a corridor. Ladies and gentlemen, on the right, Wang Hong Yang, China. It's a great exchange off the start. <laughs> Testing out their ranges is what they were. I think that's... Um, I'm still sat here thinking about that next Lindan debate. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I think it's such See, an it's a, it's a It's a good question no, to, to spark the mind. No, but it's not. No, no, based on what you said, it's absolutely true. It is too early, but it's the kind of thing that journalists come up with. Yeah, but I, I don't think that they know it. You know, I'm going to disrespect quite a number of people, including <laughs> journalists, in, in, in that case, but I, I don't care. I don't think there will ever be another uh, next Lindan. That, that's, that's the, that's the answer, I think. I think, and because badminton's different now than it was even 10, 15, 20 years ago when Lindan was peaking. There's so many more tournaments to stay world number one and to be dominant in right. this level of the game at, yeah. at this high intensity. And it's not just month after month anymore, it's week after week. It takes too much effort physically. Right. You can't do it. And so I don't think we're going to get anybody that dominates the game like Lin Dan did, other than Lee Chong Wei. A generational talent. Yeah, what it is. Lin Dan was head and shoulders above most of the rest of the field, perhaps a, a, apart from Chong Wei. These days, I mean, I love the look of um, Rajawat Priyanchu coming through. Yeah. Uh, wow. Adin Arta, I think, Two. despite that injury yesterday, he was looking so good lately, and I was really excited to see him. I think if that injury is not too bad, he'll come back and it's get to the top of the game. It's a wider base of good players, but that yeah. one-off brilliant talent, I guess. Well, meanwhile, on court, things have been evolving Successful. the way of Wei Hong Yang. Wow. Not necessarily through anything that he's done I mean, in spectacular fashion. You take Chinese players just, just on their own, and yes, people start talking about the next Lin Dan, and this is Wang Hong Yang, but he's got to get above Xi Yu Qi. That's Fei. what I was saying. That's a, the the <laughs> next point I was going to say was that, Sounds considering cool. all of these players that sit in you know, the lineup, oh, yeah. it's, um, and, and, and then he's got to get above the rest of the world as well. Axelsons, your, your, the Indonesian top players, your Japanese top players. It's, you can't, just too much. You can't talk about him being the next thing down there. Well, Pernoy testing him out now. 
opening up his shots a bit more. Well, Pranoy a little bit like the Malaysians and the Koreans we saw in the last match. He's really been through the mill this week as well. Yeah. All of his matches have gone to three. They've all been well over an hour. And that doesn't bode well. So my argument to him playing well today, you know, but he's such an efficient mover. He's so economic. That's that true. He doesn't put as much, he doesn't waste as much energy as some people do when they haven't got great footwork. His court mobility is admirable to say the least. Yeah, he seems to cruise around the court. It's really nice to watch. And Just I don't, wide there. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he'll feel that fatigue as much as some people would after four days of three game matches. Well, it has been, it was a good hunting ground for most of the week for Indian singles players. Kadambi was still in there for a bit. Of course, Sindhu lasted till the weekend as well. But this definitely, uh, being his first final of the year, is the shining moment so far. Yeah, and Pranoy is the highest ranked of the Indian men's singles players at the moment. Yeah, you've still got Srikant, you've still got Lakshya Sen, and, you know, so th therefore, you know, there's, there's got to be a lot of value in that. Well, Laks Lakshya Sen is currently refinding himself. I think it's probably the best way, way of stating it. It's definitely been a shadow of what he was at the start of the year. In fact, last year was, was really the big year for him. And that big Thomas Cup win in his first ever Thomas Cup win last year. Yeah, I mean, that performance at the 21 World Championships, I think, really stood that out. That was really good as well. Yeah. yeah so. so, four all, first challenge. A little bit wide from Pranoy to midcourt. I just wonder how much five. the ends of the court are going to play a part in this men's singles. It was quite obvious in the women's singles earlier. Interested to see if Pranoy's on the better end, whether we get uh, somebody really run away in the second. Standing up a bit more from the others on the card today. Unseeded players. First time finalists for both of them this year. It's got that degree of unpredictability about it. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a wide open field. Seven, five. As the block from one catches the net and catches Pranoy off guard as well. What could have happened? Victor Axis and still out after picking up that hamstring injury against Easy Jad Sudim and Cup. So I'm sure he would have been one of the semi-finalists. It's much like Ansa Young in the in the women's singles. Just but of course she didn't injure herself, but 
having them not being here has, has left yeah. this great open. I mean, we can say that, but who knows? I mean, Kodai Narioka, number five seed, was the only seed in the quarterfinals. Well, that's true. So, yeah. I mean, yes, you'd expect perhaps Axelson to make it through, but you never know. I mean, yeah. He's going to take a little while to come back to uh, yes, full fitness. Is. Yeah, that's for sure. I was commentating on that match. It's immediately walked off. And it was early on as well. It was like 7-4 or... Yeah, it was. Maybe even less. Yeah. Well, this is... Pranoy currently... bossing this point. That's well left. So, 6-7. Yeah. Having troubles, Wang. Thought for a moment the drift might have brought this back in, but it oh. stayed wide. So early lead from Wang dissipated. Seven all. Oh, what a save. Awkward at his best, Prano is awkward to play. He's just Eight, pretty controlled. He's got seven. everything really. His defense is pretty good, his attack's pretty good, he certainly moves well, and his shot quality is always there as well. Like we were saying earlier yeah. with Amaguchi yeah. under pressure, he still seems to genu generally find a decent length. And he's hard to break down when he's at his best. I mean, sometimes you watch him play and people sort of destroy him in certain tournaments, but uh, yeah, like I said, this week. Uh, he seems to have found another level. He's been on fire. a Malaysian player on court <laughs> it's, just, it's just relatively silent in the arena when you're so used to it of course that's going to happen again men's doubles is going to be on fire again atmosphere wise that's in challenge immediately called by Pranoy but that looked to me like it was edge of the line yeah it did I think he found the line here it does it suddenly feels like we're in a different venue <laughs> <laughs> it's almost a different tournament, it's weird. Wow. Well, well, well. That was a lot wider. Three pastures, that's really, really wide. Well, our commentary position up here isn't that bad in terms of height, but we are relatively high up. So. Never one to debate. Hawkeye, that's for Lane. sure. Sterling job that they do. Wonderful to have that technology in this game. This. Very delicate with the nets. Pernoy checks the back line. Oh, he's down again. Picks that up well. Waiting for 
mistake. Played that well. Two saves in that in that uh, rally. You see, this is what I mean. I love it about Pernoy, to be honest. Uh, oh. I think you said on fire this week, and yes, on paper the results suggest he's you know he's playing really well. But his him being on fire is him boring everybody else to death. <laughs> <laughs> basically it's a war of attrition it's almost like he's just going to keep getting the shuttle back he's going to play fairly conservative attack and if he's more consistent than you he will win there are plenty of sportsmen i can think of in tennis especially who play exactly that way ivan lendl was was one of them who yeah. literally would be able to play you off the court if you needed to yeah. uh, that's a, that's a very good analysis of uh, of Pernoy there in terms of what he brings to the tournament and I mean that with the utmost of compliments Ob as well absolutely, that, you know, obviously, obviously. I'm not trying to disrespect him at all I love watching him play I love the way he plays no, it's a it's a bona fide way of winning it's a bona fide way of progressing I should say that was a great winner from Wang Hong Yang and as we approach the first mid-game interval not much between these two for noise you say playing the game Playing out the rallies. Hong Yang so far looking for outright winners. Right. And who's to say Brunoy hasn't got a few of those as well? Well, he has, and he's on the slower Sassel. end at the moment. So we'll Ten, see him hitting less four. of those big smashes at the moment until we change ends. There's one there, though, from Brunoy. Yeah, but he put it in the safe zone. It was just at the end of mid court, so really. But you're right, it was right to left as well. He controlled it quite well to keep it down the line. 10 all. Another error from a young Chinese player. And it's Pernoy that goes ahead. 11-10. Back on court, 11-10. 16 minutes played in this men's singles final. And it's been a fascinating contest so far. Just nicked in by Wang Hong Yang. Good quality of net from Wang. You would have to time those lunges right. Well, it's yeah. how low he took the shuttle below the net to still maintain quality. That's the difficulty. It's much easier up here when you're at net height to play a spinning net shot and get a short lift, but to play it from down low, it's um, yeah, really special. Some good body defense there. All oh, that's nice from Pranoy. Follows it up nicely. Do 
doing well to pick up these cross courts. There's about three or four of them that he's safely disarmed. That is the quintessential Pranoy for me, that entire rally. He served. Oing played a tight net shot. Pranoy had to lift and give the attack away, and then he had to survive. He did that three or four times, and then neutralised, and then got an attack back himself. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, he phases, does it time and phases. time and time again. Well, so far, experience is definitely winning over age. That's a nice reaction from Wen. Yeah, especially as uh, this shot from Pranoy is actually quite deceptive. I don't know if I'll get a replay, we will. He slices it back up the straight straight up the line. A great reaction from Wen Hon Yang. From the hip. Yeah, like a doubles player. So it's just one point back now. Magical to watch. Well, it does look like he's relishing the fact that he's in the final. I don't think you may have mentioned it earlier, but I don't think he's won a World Tour final in his career, Pranoy. Oh, no, I don't think he has. I don't remember checking on that. I think he won. Um, Gold in the uh, Sea Games quite a few years ago, the Southeast Asian Games, and of course Commonwealth. But I don't thought, think he's actually won an yep. international title yeah, on the World Thomas Tour. Thomas Cup, gold, uh, gold medal, obviously. Commonwealth Games, 2018 gold medal. Uh, South Asian Games, 2016. Um, Runner-up on the World Tour once. Yeah, that's that it. was the Swiss Open last year. So again, current form. He's been picking it up. This now his second final that he's been in. So I'm getting the idea basically from. Oh, he has won a couple of titles on the Grand Prix circuit. Yes, yes, yes. This is brilliant from. Pranoy, a bit of deception, but Wang watched it all the way. Very much a journeyman player. Comes down to it. Based on those results. But that's a good thing if you keep improving. Yeah, to stay where you are in the rankings for so long as well. Yeah, to remain relevant in terms of the top 10 and top 15, top 20. Oh, that's big from... Wang Hong Yang, he had so much time to pick his spot, and that's an important point as he closes it up. 14 15. 14, 15. He's going to have to watch out for those net exchanges as Wang Hong Yang again lunges in. Yeah, for me, Pranoy is just getting a bit uh, excitable at the net. He's trying to be a bit flashy. <laughs> he's double actioning, he's taking it late, and the quality is not quite as good. And Wang's reading it also. side great save brilliant well he's out <laughs> well, that, I don't want to see this anymore we've seen too many too many players on court this today if I'm honest I think 
he's exhausted from the effort he put in and delighted with how he won the point. <laughs> Did he <laughs> win good. the point? Or was it a fault? 16-15 uh, wing, I think fault. it's a fault. Touched the net, I'm guessing. I think he hit the shot or whilst it was still over the net. Still on the uh, That's why wing he's side. exhilarated. Wow. He was taking the rules to the extreme. Yep. But, you know, based on that mm -hmm. shot and based on what you were just saying, he actually does look like he's enjoying us. Yeah, I mean, why not? Why so, not, exactly. Uh, I mean, he was, up, he was up this sort of height in the rankings back in the end of 2018, early 2019. I think COVID didn't help Pernoy. I think that period yeah. dropped heavily in the rankings, down to around 30. I'm, but I'm guessing that must have been just harrowing for so many players, not yeah. being able to get out to play the tournament. 60, 50. Yeah, I can't be certain it was that. It might just be his uh, dip in form, but great to see him back. Another point from Pranoy where he didn't take the risk and he got the reward for not uh, for not doing so. Keeps it conservative, stays patient. Just wears his opponent down. Well, I was just checking based on that. On Wang Hong Yang's achievements career-wise. He's already picked up two titles on the World Tour. Yeah, career, I think, last year in yep, Jonathan China Christie was a beat. while back. That's right. Very well done. <laughs> That's brilliant. 2019, uh, Liu Xu, Ling Xu, China Masters. So runner-up, the Lux Open. decision. I think he's just using up one of his challenges near the end of the game. Yeah, you could well be right. He might have just been looking for a chance to reset, regroup. It's getting quite tight at the end of this first game. These top players as well, though, can almost close their eyes once they've hit it clear, they know how far they've hit it. Yeah. So instinctively, if he thought, you know, that feels like that should have stayed at court, you know, sometimes it's worth a challenge because your instincts are often wiser than your eyes, you know? Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> fantastic in Brunoy. Two points up. Well, very casual. Slices across the shuttle, just brings it down straight without pace. Really tidy work from HS Brunoy. point for him to win as well. Good judgment. Often at this stage of the game, you can't afford to be wrong, so you well, play it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Coolness under pressure. Can't even imagine what kind of mental anguish it must be if you get these calls wrong and 
start leaking points. Well, it's one way of ending that net exchange. Yeah, Pranoy, he's, lo he's lost a couple of those. Yeah. Good for him to get one back. 90, Pranoy just had enough of that net exchange. Had to be careful, though, at the end. Very careful. So 19-17 and all looking good. I bet you he's going to feel a lot more confident. racket to it but not enough so it is two game points brilliant from Pranoy turning defense into attack and then finding quality shots to back up Solid, compact, confident from Wang Hongyang. Moving forward, backhand kill. The block from Pranoy didn't have anything on it. It just popped up. So inviting for Wang to jump on the kill. Yeah. So last chance for Pranoy to win this first game in regular points. That, he's going to have to break down this serve. Uh. Well, he did that well. He did that very well. And it's 21-19. Well, this is crazy from Wang. Gambled on the net shot at game point down. I mean, why? Why would you do that at that stage of the game? I, I think that's just youth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think you're absolutely Exuberant right. Exuberant youth. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why playing elder players or players that are more senior than you is such a learning experience. These youngsters still. H.S. Pranoy now with his hand on his first ever trophy, perhaps. I think last five, six, seven points, but.
So first part of the plan completed for HS Pranoy. 21-19, 33 minutes. Second game. Solid output. Love. Love. Play. Oh, it's a lot more attack in that first rally, as you said, coming Sounds from that side forward. of the court. What? Yeah, he sort of no. went against the grain here. He's been staying so patient until this point. Got a bit flashy again at the net. I think that's his only downfall for me so far, is taking on those, well, I'm going to say it, stupid shots <laughs> at the net. <laughs> Well, You've got to put love. yourself in his headspace, I guess, and yeah. if he's already one game up, it's got to be that excitement peaking all over the place. And as you said, if he plays a composed game, then that's going to be his biggest challenge, is just keeping a lid on it. Dug that out well. Is that in? Just long, I think. Yeah, just long. No challenge coming. Three. Love. Oh, string. I think he's broken a string. Sounded yes. like it. Well, he's willing to concede that point. Playing Hong Young, four. four love up in the second Eleven. game. But as you said, I mean, this is just par for the course for what we've seen all day. Really. It's just one of those situations where, and it's great for a final as well. It makes it more evenly balanced if you have that third deciding rubber game for the neutral obviously watching it that's incredible but let's see whether that does indeed happen four love up now Hong Yang with the serve clinical yeah this was accurate from Pranoy service ball one four that particular move just lays off sort of a push and then he's footwork one two three you know big smash gets rounded he does gets rounded really well yeah, yeah I saw that in the replay just now the way it's actually leaning back when he got into it that was a good snapshot return as well enough venom in it Take a look at his footwork here, directly after he serves, if we get a chance. Three, Instead of keeping his right four. leg in, his racket leg, he, he switches his feet looking for the lift. It's, see his right leg was back? But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's looking for that lift to then apply some kind of really heavy attacking shot. Well, that was his intent right from the start. Yeah. And then well, the follow-up was good too. It's worked out well for him. Combination there, left and right. Three, four. Let's bridge that early lead from Wei Hong Yang. Late take. There's just no place for it oh. in badminton. Late reads, late takes. Indecision. Good net shot. Yeah, 
Yes, that movement again you were talking about for Pronoy. Super. <laughs> That's all I can say. I mean, that was just classy all round. Five, four. He wins, a bit, like we were saying earlier in the women's singles of Yanaguchi, winning points without the big, wild, ambitious attack. That's what he's doing well here. He's winning points without really hitting the floor. So close. Great touch from Wang here. Five, Took that net away from Pranoy. Five all. Still everything to play for in this second game, but as I said, Pranoy surely, well, he's not along there. Pernoy surely feeling a little bit more calmer of the two players. Six, five. After some good industrious work in the first game. Good cross block from Wang. on that. He did so well coping with the attack from Pranoy to start with. What about this for a shot? Seven, oh, look at that. Five. Look at that vicious dip. Pranoy was back in the court a bit too deep. That was just there. <laughs> That's the one. Loads of slice. So, engineered a two-point lead for himself with some class. Still get the feeling that Pranoy could overturn that. He's in no way in any trouble. Oh, that's good. Well, Pernoy had a long here. look at it. No, he just pointed to the towel, but he had a long look at it. Looked a bit iffy. Here's the replay. Five. Just long, I think, but yeah. it was close. I'll get a better view from here. Good save from Wang. Yeah, that's... Good call by the line judge. A little bit of parallax that we're suffering from up here. We didn't expect that. No, it's a good net from Wang, wasn't it? The margins so fine at the net. Yeah, it's a tough rally. Both men Eight. playing pretty tight to lines and pretty close to the net. Wang just quite give it enough. Oh, 
great combination from Pronoy. Yeah, so accurate. Well, that cross lift from Wang wasn't half bad. Pronoy was just exploded around the head and hit that shot perfectly accurate. Set himself up for the kill. And then ran in, finished it off. Well, he's going to be happy to keep pace with the scoreboard. Must have expected a reaction from Wang in this second game. And really, when he went four love up, that could have been it. Since then, he'll be happy to stay in and amongst this scoreline. Brilliant oh. from Branoy. Too far behind him to pick up reasonably. Yeah, the deception Wait. on the racket. Eight, Set by the wrong way. Really good skill. He's, he's so in control of that racket, Branoy. Right now, a little bit of a twirl from Wang. Never was going to do him any good. That was an important point for Pinoy as well. Yeah, needed that one. So 8-9 serving to tie it up. say about this Chinese player one thing is for certain he's gonna have to pick up his game right now or else he could be in some serious trouble in about four or five points yeah he's been a real man on the rise lately and this week's been incredible for Wang but now he looks like he may have just found that experience level that you were talking about a bit too much well he's come through against some very experienced opponents already this week. Yeah, that's good. That was a nice one. But that's exactly my point. I said if you if you beat four people of note in the week, what are the chances you're gonna beat the fifth? It's like you know, especially one as you said that's as effective and efficient as Pranoy. Yeah he's very economic but Pranoy's equally had the same week, you know he's He's taking true. out some big names, so. Oh. It's the right two players in the yeah. final, for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Much like the women's singles. Yes. So 11-9 at the second mid-game interval, and Richard Sporer will be happy that he is just two points off. He is now, of course, to his final countdown for the trophy itself if he can pull it off. Well, 
So we're back on court now. 11 9. Wang Hong Young to serve. And after 48 minutes on court so far for this men's single semi final. I wonder if this is going to be the final gambit for HS Pranoy. Oh, he's missed. <laughs> what a shame for Wang. You know, I don't know if Pranoy actually conceded that or knew it was going to go out. It looked like he left it. I think he looked like he, uh, well, I don't know, it was tough. Still not a good start for Wang. That was something special, though. Well, there's a challenge coming in, but Pranoy, I'm sure, just duly obligating that. I looked to me like it was on the line. Yeah. Yes, and he was really far into that round the head corner of the left hander. So hit the opposite line. That's uh, amazing. Yep. Close that was really close. I'm surprised the challenge didn't come through from that. Yeah, fortunately, I've just sat exactly on that line. It looks just wide for me. So, three point lead for Wang Hong now. A weak return from Pradoy, and it's 14 10. 14 10. Letting this slip slightly here. Yep. Getting beaten by that smash seemed to affect him very slightly. And, it, and it's a shame because most of the time, if a guy can hit that kind of shot and hit the line, you kind of just hand it to him. You know, he can't yeah. do that 21 points in a row. But uh, Panoy seemed to get a bit frustrated. Well, now I'm trying to craft out his game once again. Yeah. Effective and efficient game needs to be a little bit more accurate than that. Yeah, Wang Hong Yang is actually playing pretty clever badminton on this end of the court. That soft net shot will sort of just hold up very slightly in the drift and die in front of Pranoy. Yeah. So he has to just reach that bit further, cause him a problem there. Great defense. Well, Wang Hong Yang is never going to have a better opportunity than now to make a play for this second game. Set up a third and deciding one. set up. This has been a straight run of points for Wang Hong Yang. Yeah, 
good length. So, he's broken Seven. that lot of points, and that's the main thing. 17. Challenge for Pranoy here is to learn how to win on this end of the court. He's going to finish the match there if it goes to three. And as yet, he's not really hitting through Wang. Despite, he ought to be playing with the drift. Oh, that's out. It was past Pernoy. Yeah, it was a bit flashy again, wasn't it? This time from yep. Wang. Yep. The cross block was lovely. He's going to have a few seconds to rethink himself as to this very strange passage of play in the last seven points. None points, in fact. I've only seen him take two of them. And he's given a clear chance for his young Chinese opponent to come through. And he is taking that chance with both hands by the looks of it. 18-12. Wonderful shot down the line. Wang Hong Yang showing some efficiency now. Frustration on the face of Pranoy. Yeah. Ever since that smash, you're right. Ever since that cross court. Hasn't been the same. And I mean, it was a great cross court, but I don't know whether it was worth losing your focus for eight points. Very strange. I mean, this is just Wang Hong Yang playing really well now. Yes, Pranoy is not quite at his best, but he needs to be. Yeah. Wang seen twelve. Wang's hitting lines here. Well, as we saw in the mixed doubles, and as we saw in the women's doubles. Those two matches were deserving of a third and deciding game, and I think this one, too, is going to fall into that Nine, category. 12. Well, I just hope Pranoy resets, steps regroups, yeah, and steps yeah. back up again, and it becomes a competition, because if it continues like this... It might be one-sided. Yeah. <sighs> again, the exuberance of youth Seven, trying to make a point. <laughs> Game point. That's what that was. It's got a bit of a buffer. Oh, superb from Wang. Pranoy's shot was a bit slow. Didn't have the length either. Punished from Wang. Now he's got his game points, and seven of them, to be precise. He's conceded that. Yeah, absolutely. Game on. You heard it from the umpire, one game all. 57 minutes played on court. And we are going to need a decider here to crown a new champion of the Malaysia Masters. If this third game is a good game, it's what the tournament deserves, actually. Yeah. I'm going to go to the 
So here we go. Third and deciding rubber game, the men's singles of the four Five. finals so far. No. This is now the third that needs that decider. Play. Just the women's singles, and of course that was Yamaguchi, so you hardly ever see deciders there. Exactly an hour played on court. Where did this doubles tempo come from? <laughs> yeah, it's a real mid-floor battle, sudden, wasn't right? it, for a moment? <laughs> Fast and furious and flat the net is what it was. Wow. Yeah. Deceptive from Wang over the top. Looked for every moment to be playing a net shot. Last second goes over Pranoy. Great feel, great touch from Wang. Dangerous clear, dangerous backhand clear, blind. Pramoy was there. Yeah, he was early too. Great smash. Really punished that shuttle. match mirage like reads suddenly drop in wow. interesting term you used earlier learning how to win on this side of the court as opposed to that one and that that really has come to the fore in this match it's been quite significant in the other disciplines as well Celebrating the miss from Wayne. He's just trying to get himself pumped up. I have that or he's going to celebrate every point in this third game. <laughs> Carolina Marin style. Yeah. She does really celebrate every single point. Great to see her back in good form as well. That's a nice shot. Oh, what a return. Gambled it, but it worked out. Executed so well. Almost a backhand smash from Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Three, two. Sort of cross drive, but look at the power on it. But 100% backhand, almost blind. Yeah. Look at the accuracy on that. Incredible.
just got the impression that was too high. Did well to recover. Oh, shot it wide. Well, that could have tied it up for Pernoy, but it's a little bit loose. Outrageous smash. That's quite a big miss for him. He was in balance. Everybody in the Axialt Arena just hanging on every, every one of these strokes as this match Five, takes on two. this mesmerizing air about it. It is, it is mesmerizing. Simply it? because both players are playing you know, some great strategic, fundamental yeah. base badminton. There's a bit of a uh, mental battle going on internally, I think, at times as well. It, and it always yeah. comes out at early in the third. It's yeah. almost like they're not as committed to the cause at this stage because they need to. They're going to be focused at the end of the game. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. But you take your eye off the ball a bit, and suddenly you're four or five points down, and yeah. So they're just they're trying to away. trying to sit through the early part of the third game and get straight to the end. Yeah, but you know, Pramo has been hitting. Yeah. He's trying trying to hit lines and missing. I guarantee at 18, if it was 18 all in the third, he wouldn't be missing by a big margin like that. So, so why would you be doing it now? <laughs> Valid point. Five. Didn't and miss this time, though. Yeah, that was a great smash. That was great, and he needed that. When Hong Young was pulling away 3 5, this ever so important point for Pernoy. Has to keep pace with the scoreline. to the rally right now. Something inherently offensive coming off his racket. Well, that one was that one was aiming for it. Yeah, good patience from Pranoy. That's was what I meant by offensive racket actions. That was straight Seven, down the line, full of intent, had enough sting on it. Six, four. Yeah, a bit too passive from Pranoy and Wang. Jumps in, yeah. Yeah, straight on it. Shoulders, yes. torso. It's the net shot here. That was spinning all over the place. And the lift could only Five, manage to get to half court. Seven. That's prime hitting zone. Oh, 
Prono is in real trouble here. That did not look good for the Indian. Yep. Short lift. Good defence. Just get the feeling that Wang Hong Yang is asking all the questions. And Young was intent on pinging that shuttle behind him. And then this Six, transitional eight. shot, basically. Great footwork. And executed that so well to go across. Wasn't really high risk from Pranoy either. No. No, no, no. It was well within the shot option. Yeah, he, could, he could recover quite easily from there as well if it came back. That's what he was doing in the first game, you know, just making the right choices, wearing down his opponent. But the safe op shot option so that he can recover after that and move around. That's... That looked like it was shading itself out. Pavoy beat me to it. Oh, he'll be lucky. Yeah, hard to read for me, this one. The drift might have helped it go back into court, but... Let's see. Ooh, just wide. Oh, look at that. Is that two millimetres, maybe two and a half? it to one point. And he's killed it the other way to tie it up. Yeah, Wang Hong Yang for me at the moment is the one that's um, not that you can visibly see him making mistakes. He's just a bit passive. A little bit later on his decisions. A little bit Millisecond slower as well. Maybe, yeah. yeah, slower around the court. He needs to kind of, I don't know. Believe. Yeah, Pranoy was in trouble. Wang should have sensed blood and really gone at him, I think. But instead, he's been quite passive, oh. quite conservative, and he's allowing Pranoy to hit shots like that. He's giving him the chance to hit shots like that. That's the point. Yeah. He's allowed that to happen. He's created that space again in the hitting zone. better from Wang. That intensity that's in this rally gone back up by just 10% or so is enough to yeah. get Pranoy on the run. A bit more front foot. Yep. play for.
Brilliant. <laughs> it was going to take something special to end that rally. It's a great rally, wasn't it? There's a fine line between being conservative Ten. and being too passive. Yeah. And that rally was better for both of the men. going to be just one or or two points at the mid-game interval oh, yeah. between them which yeah. I think both men will be quite happy with either way around yeah they make that mad dash for 21 after this obviously keeps open the option of extra points as well first time finalists it's going to be a nervy affair All over that net. It's always the chance that he's defending such a high line. That Wang Hong Yang could shoot this past him. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Well, that was a splendid rally. Pranoy through the kitchen sink at Wang at the early stages. And then he was hunting this net at the last moment after Wayne was lacing that rear corner. See, Wayne could have got round the head there for me. Fatigue maybe yeah. sitting in. I don't know. And he was a bit late to his reaction there as well. Mm. Well, 10 all. going to be one point when they go in for the interval and that means that when they come off the interval uh, whoever's going to be first to really kick in it's going to be the one that reaps the most rewards oh what a reply from him. Good yeah it was a nice backhand that was great Yeah, he was tracking that from mid, from the middle of the court. He knew it was going to be out. Uh, tell you what, Pranoy is going to be delighted to be uh, up at the break. I think after the start and the back end of game two, I kind of half expected him to be four or five points down. And mentally, that's a big challenge now. He's actually got the momentum with him. So here we go, the final stage of this men's singles final third game. Last 10 points needed for Pranoy. Last 11 points needed for Weng. They've both put their hands on. Well, whoever gets that, of course, 11, trophy. 10 play. Went for the big shot. It was wide. Oh, a wild miss, yeah, from Wayne. Yeah. That was superb, Pranoy. 
He served and switched his feet again, looking for that lift into that corner. Exactly what he was doing. Found the line. Oh, Pernod can at least be happy that he was in the general area. Found the line. His length may have been a bit short there. He lifted from that corner in the first place, so he shouldn't really get beaten down the line from there. Near post. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Frowned upon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that's unanswered. Again, hanging over the body. Big body smash. <laughs> Wang nearly ate that one for breakfast. Yeah. Interesting, though, that he didn't actually try and block it, but actually got out of the way, checked the line immediately to see if it was in. Which it was. Nice return from Wang. Dangerous from Pranoy. You knew it from the backhand clear. Not a high percentage success from that Seven, shot. 12, he just didn't quite connect as well as he he wanted. Hard to keep that flat though, right? Hard to keep it low. Well, it is. No, it's not, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, I, top ten players in the world, there's no should real excuse it. for him. Well, it, yeah. just, he should be able to make the back tram lines. That, right. That's right. it. And if you can do that, it doesn't matter about the height, really. If it is a bit flat, then the guy is going to intercept it. Fair yeah. enough. So. Oh. It's all getting a bit Close in personal, intimate, I think is the word. I like that word, intimate. I don't <laughs> think you, any sort of malicious meaning to this, just... Uh, no, but that's... When, it, when, it, when a shuttle is that close to your body, it's, yeah. it's a different type, but that's what was going on. It was absolutely... I love the fact that everyone apologises when it was clearly aimed. Well, you would... Uh, you, absolutely. I mean, it's... It it's, doubles all the time. You've got to aim yeah, at the body because that's, that's yeah, the space. Yes, exactly. You know? And it's just the right thing to do to put the hand up to apologise afterwards. It's part of badminton's etiquette. Etiquette, yeah, it's a good word for it. Oh, he got his up. He got up for that one. Pomoy did well. Cry from the Indian, yeah. He is delighted yeah. with that shot. Well, that was a pretty well marshaled point, all in all. 50, 50. And it looks like Hong Yang changed his mind on one of the returns just before that. Slightly. Yeah, it caught the net, yeah. I think. And then that came up too high. Just react very quickly and make a decision. Smash though from Pranoy. Well, that was the difference between 14 all and 15 13. And as I'm so fond of saying, they are running out of points in this match. Thank you. For Pranoy, six points away from the championship, his first World Tour title. Wrong-footed, maybe. <laughs> Still came back with the stick. Well, he's up to his level, and by that I mean it's almost a mental state that he's back in. He's staying calm and composed, Pranoy, but his, his shot quality, it's all about his shot quality. And when it's on, it's very tough to play. from 
Wang and that left well. Dangerous leave. At 16-13. Yeah, good judgment from Wang. Just long. Just long. Challenge being called. Close, but I think it's long. Yeah, I think there's a hopeful challenge, this one. A well-structured rally again from Pranoy. No, he's definitely trying to close this out, for sure. Yeah, you can see he's got the game plan he's, by the he's, way he's yeah. moving around the court. He's stepped it up. Out. Oh. Credit to Wang. He is hanging in this, and he's hanging in this for the reward because Pernoy might need five points, he just needs six. And they're both going to be willing to fight it, fight it out to the end, each one. Save. Oh, well played, Pranoy. Again, it's about composure here. <laughs> Comes back and you still keep your head. See it out. Pranoy still in search of that first World Tour title. <laughs> Even at this point. That completely escaped me, that did. And to think at 30 years old as well, how long he's waited for it. This is uh, some heavy pressure on him. Sets up the lift, tracks back, ready for the attack. Well, that's his favourite move again. Yeah, that is his favourite move. Scissor jump. Yeah, exactly. Cross court. Sixty, seventy. So, a couple of inches wide on the cross court, and it's Wang Hong Yang with a chance to tie it up at seventy. -year. Tonight. 18 16. He's pushing the envelope here, Pranoy. He goes for a line, goes for another line. I think he wants to finish this in style. Wow, I think it's just a sign of confidence for one and his commitment to the cause now, which is what I was searching for earlier. I'm glad to see it's there. This, of course, if he can't do it, won't just be a personal achievement for himself. But really, the Indian national team would be really happy with this. Hasn't been an Indian singles player on top of the podium all year. Just missed. Just wide. Save there. 70, and ambitious 80. to go for that, but it's the ambition that's been. It's put him in this position exactly. in yeah, this third yeah. game. 
So in terms of time, we've now hit our third final that is about to cross the 90-minute mark. Mixed doubles for 91. Early Town and Tina, of course, 101. <laughs> you have to always take the award for that one. And this now just about shifting into 90. Benoit's back on. He's ready. He's three points away. And you know what? He's been doing so well off Wang Hong Yang's serve. He'll be quite happy to be receiving this. It's gone long again. what you need pinnacle winner down the line your opponent floored in the corner well the last four points Prano is really wearing his heart on his sleeve here yeah, he's just gone. going for it line for line for line well you said earlier Bobby you couldn't you can't do that 21 points in a row how many points can you do that in a row because <laughs> he's on he's on three now at least Oh, he did miss the other one, the second yes, one, so that's, that's right. It's not consecutive, it's not consistent. He's going for it, but that's the, th that's the point. So you're going yeah. to miss the odd one when you don't play conservative. And it's going to put you in a really bad position. Well, 19-18 on serve. What's he got in the tank? Magical smash. This is in. I'm pretty confident this was in. Had to be challenged, obviously. Of course it does, Wang, at this stage of the match. And that close to the line again from Pranoy. But well, I think it's in. Yeah, me too. Me too. Poor guy to rescue Wang. Oh, no, it's oh, in. Oh, oh. Yes, it, is. it is just in. By the tangent of the sliver of however you want to cut that down even more. So, championship points for HS Benoit. He's about to take his own slice of history here at the Malaysia Masters 2023, if he can pull it off. And the way he's going for these lines, Benoit, Wang has no challenges remaining. Well, that really would be a story, wouldn't it? Emotion on his face as well. He's almost That's in tears out there, and I really, I'm really pleased for him. I think the tears are going to come in the podium presentation, but you are absolutely on the money, Bobby. He was my man for this week. I just commentated on a couple of his games earlier in the week, and the way he was playing, I just had a feeling. 21 19, 13 21, 21 18. 
H.S. Pernoy picks up his first title. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent for Pranoy. What a moment for him. You know what? He actually looks a lot calmer than I would have thought. But let's see how he looks on the podium. Oh, look at that. Did he have those specially ready in his bag, or did he have this? Premonition that got a new shirt and everything. Yeah, no chance was he expecting <laughs> this. That, uh, I, I, I can't quite believe if, if he had. I think he just, you know, spare shirts in the bag. <laughs> Some lucky fans going home with his racket, the one that won him his first World Tour title at age 30. That's quite special. But as I just said, it's not just about his personal achievement, finally break, reaching that um, landmark but also, it's a good shot in the arm for Indian Badminton in general in 2023. Hasn't been middling results, really, for a lot of the top names. And he's come through. And he's really re-fired up that charge. Now heading over the trophy presentation, finally. Big hug for his coach. And it wasn't an easy draw for Pranoy. Chao Tian Chen, Li Shifeng, Nishimoto. And this is the winning moment from Pranoy. Big cross smash winner. He just knew he was going to go for it. Oh, of course he was. I mean, he did the last five or six points. He was really going for it and, you know, he gets his reward for that ambitious play. But it's a stark contrast to be able to jump into that gear after what he was doing in the first game by the attrition strategy and playing out all the points. Wonderful for Pranoy. So as he heads over to the podium area, a lot of India fans in the Axiata Arena today. And of course, he's got a lot of support and fans right here in Malaysia. As I said journeyman player that has won over a lot of people in his uh, playing career so far. Credit to Wei Hong Yang. We're going to be seeing a lot more from this youngster, for sure. definitely learned something from H.S. Pranoy today. So, China. medals, checks and souvenirs, as has been the case. Listen to that cheer. So for the medals, none other than Mr. Paul Eric Carey, the WF president himself. We are great pleasure. We now invite Mr. Paul Eric Hoyer, BWF president, to give away the medals to the winners. Checks from Mrs. Leong Wai Yin. This is director at FNN Beverages. Prize money back on, of course, the HSBC BWF World Tour. To give away to the souvenirs from 
is Doreen Lee, head of retail products, HSBC Bank Malaysia, of course. It's the full price pack. Yeah. A very happy HS Pranoy. Congratulations to our men's singles finalists. Once again, who needs that second step on the podium? Hello, Vietnam, Korea. Are you ready for the final photograph of this challenge? Supported by Yannick Sunrise Malaysia. Please put your hands together for the final contestant, Parents. Quick photo call for Pranoy. And up next, we're going to close out final Sunday with men's doubles. Man Wei Chong and T Kai Wun. It's Kang Min Hyuk and Xiao Sing Jae. Stay with us. Back to our continuing coverage of the Malaysia Masters 2023. Four of five finals completed. Up next, it's the men's doubles. Man Wei Chung, Tikai Wun against Kang Min Hyuk and Xiao Sung Jae. Looking at the men's doubles draw, as you can see, big names dispatched by both of our finalists. Hoki and Kobayashi in the semi finals at the top half, Carnando and Martin succumbed in straight games to Manatee in the bottom half.